Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to add fractions with unlike denominators. So let's jump into our examples, starting with number one, where we have four ninths plus one third. Now, when we add fractions, we need a common denominator. In other words, the bottom numbers need to be the same in order to add. For number one, we have a nine and a three. So obviously, we don't have a common denominator to start with, so we can't add quite yet. So the first thing that we need to do is find a common denominator. And we can do that by finding the least common multiple between our denominators. Now, as far as why we need a common denominator, that's a topic for another video. I'll drop that link down in the description. So you may recognize the least common multiple between denominators right away when you see the problem. But if not, you can always write out your lists of multiples in order to find it. Let's write out the multiples of nine and three. So I'll come to the bottom of the screen where I have some extra room to write out these lists. We'll start with nine. So nine. The first multiples of nine are nine, 18, 27, 36. So I'll write four multiples of nine there. I would suggest writing out four or five multiples of each see if you have any common multiples, and if not, you can always extend your lists. So let's do three now and see if we have any common multiples. Three, six, nine, and it looks like we have a common multiple of nine. And more specifically, that's going to be the least common multiple. We always want to find the least common multiple smaller numbers in value are generally easier to work with, and this will help cut down on simplifying in the end. So nine is going to be our common denominator. Let's come back up to the original problem and rename these fractions with our common denominator of nine. So underneath, I'm going to write our common denominator of nine, and now we can rename. So we'll start with four ninths. Well, four ninths already has a denominator of nine, so we don't need to rename. So we can just bring the four down. As far as one third, we need to think three times what equals nine? How do we get three to equal nine? Well, we know three times three equals nine. Now, in order to rename, we want to have an equivalent fraction. We want to keep this equivalent. We do not want to change the value of the problem at all. So whatever we do to the denominator, we have to do to the numerator. So one times three is three. Three ninths is equivalent to one third, but we have that common denominator of nine now. Now that both fractions have a common denominator, we can add. So when we add fractions, we add the numerators, the top numbers. Four plus three is seven. And then we keep the denominator the same. So nine. Seven ninths is our final answer. Now it's common practice to simplify fractional answers. So we look to see if we can break this fraction down at all. Are there any common factors between seven and nine besides one? Can we simplify? No, the only common factor between seven and nine is one. So this is in simplest form and we are done. Seven ninths is our final answer. Let's try another one and move on to number two where we have three tenths plus two sixths. So the first thing that we wanna do, we need to find a common denominator. So let's write out the multiples of 10 and six. We'll start with 10. So 10, 20, 30, 40. So we'll write out four multiples for each. Let's do six now. Six, 12, 18, 24. So four for each, and we don't have a common multiple. That's okay, we can extend our lists. Now, the multiples of 10 were already at 40, and the multiples of 6 were only at 24, so let's extend 
that list. So after 24 would be 30. And now we have a common multiple and specifically the least common multiple. So 30 is going to be our common denominator. Let's rename our fractions with that denominator of 30. Let's start with 3 tenths. So we need to think, how do we get 10 to equal 30? 10 times what equals 30? Well, 10 times 3 equals 30. We know 10 times 3 equals 30. In order to keep this equivalent, whatever we do to the denominator, we have to do to the numerator. So multiply the numerator by 3 as well. 3 times 3 is 9. So 9 thirtieths is equivalent to 3 tenths, but we have that common denominator of 30 now. Now we do 2 sixths. So we think, how do we get 6 to equal 30? 6 times what is 30? Well, 6 times 5 is 30. Whatever we do to the denominator, we do to the numerator. So 2 times 5 gives us 10. 10 thirtieths is equivalent to 2 sixths. Now that we found the common denominator, we renamed, we can add. So add the numerators. 9 plus 10 is 19. Keep the denominator of 30. And our final answer is 19 thirtieths. We can check to see if we can simplify, but 19 thirtieths is in simplest form. The only common factor between 19 and 30 is one. So we are done. So there you have it. There's how you add fractions with unlike denominators. Find a common denominator, rename with that common denominator, add, and then look to see if you can simplify. Now there is a part two. I'll add that link down in the description. Part two will have two more examples. And in one of those examples, there's an answer that can be simplified. So you can see what that looks like. Also, if you need more help with multiples and least common multiple, I'll have a link to that video in the description as well. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.